Is your small business growing? That's the question we address right here on the Grow Your Biz Show. It's where we interview strategic entrepreneurs who inform and inspire you on your solopreneur or small company journey. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Grow Your Biz Show. Hi, I'm Paul with GrowMedia.com. Today's show is going to be a little different. Instead of one long interview, we're going to have several short interviews. Kind of a best of compilation show. Kind of a trailer show, if you will. So get your seatbelt on. We're going to take a ride and get out there and grow something. ActionCoachOmaha.com is the global leader in business coaching uh, for small businesses and businesses of all sizes. If you need to clarify your business and if you need to have some accountability in your business, contact Jim Barger at actioncoachomaha.com. Hi, this is Paul Madsen of growmedia.com and I'm here to help you to get to know Eric Crouch of Crouch Recreation a little better. Eric, thanks for having us in. You bet, Paul, thank you. You bet, good to be here. Hey, Eric, tell us what business is Crouch Recreation in? Well, Paul, it's a great question. Um, we are in the business of building outdoor play spaces that are very safe and they bring communities together. Bring communities together. I never really thought of that with a playground. It's just a bunch of equipment over there. But you know, <laughs> yep. you're right. People do what? They come together on them, they don't do they? do come together. It's a great place for them to socialize and play and be active. Schools, parks, what? You name it. Schools, parks, uh, daycares, churches. Um, you know, there's private properties as well, like apartment complexes okay. or well, condominiums, things of that nature. Lots going on out there. there. Sure yeah. Hey, Eric, tell me, why are you in this business? Well, it's a great question too. Um, you know, sometimes I ask myself that. I gotta, say, <laughs> gotta say that uh, actually, I enjoy working with the people that I work with. Okay. Um, you know, the products are one thing, but getting to know people and these these spaces that when you get done building them, you get to see them. I mean, they're right there. You drive by them. They're there for 25, 30 years. Think and, of all the lives that are enjoying those And they spaces. use them every day. And, yeah, yeah. And they're, and they're getting off their cell phones and devices to get out there on them, right? Absolutely. Does that, does that motivate you to... It sure does. I mean, you, we've talked about this before, but when you've got, you know, childhood obesity problems and diabetes problems and kids getting off the couch problems and, <laughs> you know, we, we want to get kids active. We want to get them out there enjoying their lives, being fit, having fun, having great social lives. And great. then when they do these things, they, they start to have more self-confidence themselves. And you can help them with all that. You Absolutely. bet. Hey, Eric, you know, there's a lot of businesses probably doing the same kind of thing out there. What separates Crouch Recreation from them? I always like to tell people that it's the customer service. It's not the products. And so for those young business owners out there or uh, solopreneurs that are trying to start a business for the first time. Um, it's not about so much what you have, but it's about how you treat the people. And when you pick, when they pick the phone up and call you or see you out there, are you taking care of business? Are you being honest with them? Are you shooting them straight? Um, those are the types of things that are going to uh, help you Build a reputation, your, build a reputation like, yeah, and, wow. and build a long-term future yeah. for your company. Awesome. Well, that's terrific. Well, I think that's uh, what people want in business. I mean, there's always competition for price, but they really want to, uh, your words, uh, buy from people. Right. Uh, yeah, people buy from people. And so, uh, uh, you know, we've, we've done a great job here of getting to know our customers, um, treating them with a lot of respect. Um, and then, uh, you know, they're our customers for life. Yeah. You know, so we don't want to, we want to, every job that we have, small job to large job, uh, we want to make sure that that person is a reference for us. Eric, thanks a lot. Eric Paul, Crouch of you. Crouch Recreation. Talk to you again. Hi, this is Paul Madsen with GrowMedia.com, and I'm here to introduce you today to Taylor Kerensky and Spencer Robinson of AppSki Labs. Gentlemen, welcome. Spencer, thanks Taylor, good to see you. Us. Welcome. Hey, I'm going to uh, fall off my chair here, and uh, I just wanted to thank you for the chance to visit with you, and I want to ask you, first of all, guys, tell us, what business are you in? Well, we're in the idea, we're in the idea business, so we help people take uh, ideas all the way to a product concept. Okay, and, and uh, Spencer, who would that an idea be for? What kind of uh, organization or person is, is this for? Um, so that could really be anybody. It's whatever customer has a need that needs or that has to be fulfilled, we're ready to hear those ideas and make them come to life. Okay, and from a app standpoint, or uh, what kind of what kind of application are we talking about? Um, so we focus on development of mobile applications and web apps, as well as uh, e-commerce websites and graphic design. 
Awesome, awesome. Well, tell us, uh, tell me, why uh, are you guys in this business? Terry, why did you start this business a couple years ago? So I started the business because I saw a lot of uh, business owners struggling through the process of finding a good developer, learning what it takes to make what they're interested in developing, and supporting the technology needs for their business. Um, so I kind of started AppSkey as a way to create a, a development company that helps people all the way through the pipeline and makes them feel like their idea is something that's tangible and reachable. Great, great. Spencer, anything to add to that? Um, really, it's just all about uh, me and Taylor want to be part of finding the next big thing. And so if somebody can come to us with an idea and we can take them through their technical roadmap, then that's what it's all about. Help them get from A to B, whether they're starting small or already established, right? Yep. Yep. Well, great. Uh, hey, guys, there's a, a number of solutions and options out there within the development space, within the agency space. Tell us what makes AppSki different. Taylor? Sure. So uh, one of the things that makes us different is we have in-house uh, graphic designers that are actually award-winning designers. Um, so we're able to work with people on the, on the graphic design front and, and kind of implement what they want before we even start programming, which helps save them money and time. Um, and we also um, create a really unique experience of guiding people essentially through the Lean Canvas method that we talked about. Um, through their entire idea and project plan. And briefly, the Lean Canvas uh, project idea concept, Spencer, is what? Um, the main idea with that is validating before you build. So we get, we usually aim for 100 pieces of customer feedback before we start development, so okay. we make sure we build it right the first time. Spencer, great, thanks for that. Taylor, how is that working out for you all? Uh, it's working out pretty well. Uh, we've worked on some really cool projects. Um, we've told people that maybe their idea needs some refining as well, which helps save people money and um, helps them kind of keep going with their business in the right direction. Um, and we've got a lot of exciting things coming up as well. Well, great. Well, uh, AppSki, and they have a staff of eight people, a variety of talents, and they can help you get where you need to be in your business. Guys, thanks for coming out. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for Thank having you. us. Hi, I'm Paul Madsen with GrowMedia.com, and I am here with Angie Peterson Green to get to know more about her business. Angie, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Hey, Angie, tell us, what business are you in? What benefits do you provide out there? I help women and men try and find their purpose through doing a vision board workshop out of my home, which provides a sense of purpose along with redefining your um, life and providing clarity. Well, it seems like most everybody could use that. Yes. <laughs> more purpose, more clarity, and, yes. and definition of uh, where we're all headed, right? Yes. And you use a vision board to do this? Tell us what that is. So a vision board is really a 24 by 36 board that is a poster board, um, and you really put all of your thoughts and your goals and your aspirations, inspirations on there. Um, and you look at it daily, five minutes a day, and literally I have accomplished 26 things off my board and it's just been a year this past month, November. And you help other people do this via a... One-on-one um, -on -one breakthrough one -on -one session. One-on-one workshop, okay. Yeah, breakthrough session. Okay, great. Well, Angie, tell us, why do you do this business? Really, I am re really just wanting to serve women. Uh, I feel like I am at a point in my life where I have found my purpose and I'm really just wanting everybody to feel what I feel um, there's no greater joy in, in my life than helping people um, and, and serving them to their, their best potential. Great. And Angie, tell us this, and, and that's a noble cause. <laughs> uh, tell us what separates you from other coaches or, or people out there who do maybe some kind of similar thing. Uh, I just feel like my approach um, is very much more structured um, and, and really dives deep into the root of some causes. Um, yes, life coaches do go into those things, but I just feel like mine is much more uh, a structured approach um, and, and will get results. So Angie, tell us, I'm, you've done this with several people now, how, how many uh, clients do you have so far? 59 so far. Wow, 59 clients. And what do they say about you and your service? What, tell us what outcomes they have had. So the outcomes can, can range from anywhere between weight loss to um, you know, accomplishing their goals through a gratitude journal that I also provide in my workshop. Um, you know, everything is just a process, and so they're, they're really just guided on um, 
the sense of energy that they feel when they are, when they're looking at those boards on a, on a daily basis. So, um, just in hearing where they've gone on their trips um, and those goals have been achieved, that's really what gets me me going. Sounds to me like you really help them in their empowerment. Yes. Yes. Angie Peterson Green, it's been a pleasure. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Thank you, Paul. Hi, I'm Paul Madsen with GrowMedia.com, and I'm here to introduce you to Amy Mayer of Mayer Wellness and Myofascial Release LLC. Amy, thanks for being here. Hi, thanks for having me, Paul. Hey, Amy, let's just jump right in. Tell us, what business are you in? Uh, my tagline is Break the Cycle, Redesign Life. So, break the cycle of pain. I'm here to help people break that pain cycle and figure out how they can tweak their life to make sure that pain doesn't come back. Well, that sounds like a pretty important uh, type of thing to have. I'm sure there's a lot of people in pain out there. Yes. Is it steady pain or re once in a while pain or both? Um, I work with people that have light intermittent pain that is just bothersome to pe people that have very chronic, severe, debilitating pain. And uh, you work different diagnoses for different strategies for different situations, I'm mm -hmm. sure. sure. Every patient's different, right? Absolutely. No doubt. Well, Amy, that's a noble calling. Tell us why are you in this business? I was very fortunate to learn some of the techniques that I know as a new graduate a very long time ago, and I've always been amazed that this technique is so effective with people. Um, and what I just, technique is that? That technique is myofascial release, okay. and specifically the Barnes style. Okay, what's different about that? What's unique about that? Uh, the Barnes style of myofascial release addresses your fascial system, which is a system in your body that not a lot of people really know about and understand, and it's kind of coming more into um, People are finding out about it through okay. the sports, through the beauty, but not so much through the healthcare system. Um, but it addresses the fascial system through address, um, I match the tension in your body with pushes and pulls okay. to try and soften that system and get it functioning more normally again. Sounds terrific, sounds like a unique approach and, uh, and one that's uh, kind of unique to you, it sounds like. I mean, you didn't create it, but, it, <laughs> but it's one that uh, is not real popular it sounds, or well um, known, I mean. There's about 7,000 practitioners across the United okay. States, not a lot, and there's not too many in, in the Midwest, mm -hmm. so it is unique. You mentioned uh, getting started. You ha your background and educational background includes? Uh, my educational background includes, I'm an occupational therapist by trade, right. and um, I've been going to the Barnes workshops for almost three decades now yeah. to, to become an advanced practitioner. And have your doctorate as well. I have my doctorate in occupational therapy as well. W wonderful, wonderful background. Uh, tell us, Amy, there's a lot of options out there in the world for pain relief and pain relief providers. Mm -hmm. What makes Mayor Wellness different? What mm -hmm. differentiates you from all the noise that's out there? Yeah, a lot of the clients that I see have tried many other <laughs> techniques to help them, and um, I address that fascial system, which is a system that a lot of other practitioners don't know about, don't understand, haven't read the research on that yet. Um, and I, I apply that technique, but I'm also really big on self-care and, and teaching people how to stretch differently to get into their pain okay. and to keep that pain away. Sure. Also teaching them how to move differently, how to hold their body differently okay. to prevent that pain from returning. Fantastic. Tell us about some results your patients achieve. Uh, um, <laughs> In 10 seconds or less. <laughs> some of my clients are very surprised to see their their posture and how they can change their posture and align their bodies better to make a huge difference in their outcomes. That's terrific, that's mm -hmm. terrific. And uh, also another differentiator is your insurance situation? Yes, I, I don't process insurance at my clinic. Um, and that is so that I can practice in the way that I want to practice. Not hobbled by the rules of uh, some other outside provider. Exactly, right. I can spend all my energy Terrific. helping my clients. Amy, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming out and good to talk to you today. You too, Paul. Hi, I'm Paul Madsen of GrowMedia.com, and I'm here with Nick Bianchi of Bianchi Candle Company. Nick, good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. We're going to learn more about Nick and his company. Nick, we're going to jump right in. What business is Bianchi Candle Company in? So Bianchi Candle Company is in the business of inspiring and setting emotion within people through my all-natural soy candles. S inspiring and setting mood with all-natural soy candles. Why all-natural? Why soy? 
Because all natural soy doesn't give off any uh, bad carcinogens, doesn't give off any of that black soot that no one really likes, and Wonderful. it burns a lot longer. Wonderful, that's awesome. Well, and then, and then uh, tell me more about the mood and the, and the, the attitudes and the inspiration. <laughs> tell me about that. Yeah, so we have an Inspire line, and so the, within the Inspire line, it has an inspirational word with an inspirational quote, so it's kind of like a greeting card within a candle. Wow, wow. Well, my, um, Nick, tell me, uh, why are you in this business? I mean, it's, uh, a lot of 16-year-olds, that's part of the story. Nick is 16, a high school student. Why are you in this business instead of uh, chasing girls like most 16-year-olds? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm in this business because uh, I love math and science that helped me get into candles. And I also think that within the Yes You Candle line, there needs to be a little bit more of inspiration within the world. And the Yes You Candle line is a movement, and that'll help a lot of people through it. Well, and I think that ties in with your first thought there about setting the mood, setting the ad attitude, inspiring uh, people as well. And so that all goes together very nicely. Hey, Nick, uh, there's a lot of candles out there for sale, a lot of candle stores, a lot of places to buy. Uh, things to improve your mood or to be inspired by. Uh, why, you know, what's different about, about your candles? So like I said before, our, my candles are an all natural soy candle line. So they burn a lot longer and cleaner. And so these are eight ounces and they burn up to 60 hours. Wow. Yeah, and so it's a lot more than what the normal people would have. And also um, it doesn't give off any of that bad uh, residue that no one really likes or the black ceilings that okay, everybody yeah, complains yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, tell me about the different lines. You have two or three different lines? Yeah, so I have three different lines. I started the yes, I started the Wild Worksman line when I was 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I, I, from there, I expanded into the Bianchi Candle line, which is now the mother company of it okay. all. And so that's an all white candle line okay. because Bianchi means all white in Italian. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, and then I kind of mashed those two together and added a little bit of a spin on it for the new line which is the Yeshu candle line so it's very the Yeshu candle yes, line okay. and so it's very colorful but it also has that clean look to it okay and it has the inspirational word with the inspirational quote ranging from bravery to warmth to perseverance and it kind of gives you that yes you can mindset throughout well, the whole awesome time. Nick you got started when you're 12 yes when uh, I was 12 years tell old. us briefly about that yeah so when I was 12 years old my parents gave me a candle making kit for my birthday and I kind of fell in love with that, everything, with the math and science growing it and the business aspect of it all. And it slowly kind of from the first show to the first snow, for the first store snowballed into what it is today. And you're in many stores in the region and you're in tra trade shows all, throughout the country. A truly inspirational story. Nick Bianchi, Bianchi Candles. And uh, thanks for joining us and check out your website, which is? BianchiCandleCo.com. See you there. Hello and welcome. I'm Paul Madsen of GrowMedia.com and I'm pleased to introduce you to Amy Neiman of Centersphere. Amy, Thank thanks you so for much. coming by. Thanks for having me. Good to see you today. How are you, you doing? Too. Great. Well, that's Wonderful. great. That's great. Hey, Amy, you're part of Centersphere mm -hmm. and that's a premier networking organization. Tell yes. us what business are, is Centersphere in? Yes. So we are a professional networking organization here, um, started here in Omaha, but we are national. We are in 11 markets now. So um, Des Moines, rural Nebraska, Lincoln, Tulsa, Chicago, New York. Um, All over the place. Yes, and I'm the area director for Omaha. We have 800 members wow. um, and 50 chapters, but it's about building those trusted relationships with folks, and then the business comes. Whether it's in your business or you find a plumber when you know your sink backs up or something like that, uh, but you have somebody to c connect with and find those trusted relationships network-wide. Well, that's terrific. Maybe uh, you're not the owner, but uh, what? tell us what Brett was thinking about when yep. they founded the company. Sure. Why, why, why did they found, why did they start Center So Spirit? Brett Boyer is our CEO and one of the co-founders. Um, they started nine years ago and it wow. was, let's get an, a modern approach on networking, not just to be part of a weekly group with 30 people, that those are the only folks you can do business with. We want a network of folks. So okay. there's 1600 members nationwide, plus we, were, we are members of all the chambers um, and, and different organizations like that because we want people to have as large of a network as they need right. for their business, for their personal lives, um, and just to expand that way. Well, that's awesome. What, uh, there, there are lots of networking organizations out sure. there, lots of online things and yep. so on. Yeah. What makes Centersphere different than all that other noise out sure. there? Sure, I think it's those trusted relationships. Uh, so that's the basis, that's the philosophy behind it all, um, but then also being having access to a larger network um, than just that weekly group. Um, those trust relationships, like I said, the business will come. 
you get to know people on a humanistic relationship basis, right, right. and then you want to refer people to them. Well, absolutely. The, yeah. the know, the like, and the trust, trust. thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, your groups have that philosophy through and through, it sounds like. Yep. I mean, do you, do you uh, attribute the growth you've had nationally, 1,600 members, to yep. that kind of philosophy? Yeah, it's, very, it's been very organic. We haven't marketed, advertised it. People have said, oh, I have a friend in Salt Lake, or I have a friend in Tulsa or in Chicago that might benefit from this, or a family member, and that's kind of grown from there. Awesome. So we're awesome. looking at new markets all the time. Well, that's terrific. Yeah. Well, there you have it, uh, awesome organic growth because of a strong philosophy that the founders had and Amy continues to carry forward. Amy, thanks for coming. Thank Great you to so see much. you. you too. And check out Centers for. Hi, I'm Paul Madsen of GrowMedia.com and I am at the Shark Tank casting call in Lincoln, Nebraska with Andrea and Marquez. They are with the Doe Bar and I am excited to hear more about that. Tell us, what business are you two in? Well, we sell protein-packed donuts and treats, crispy bars. Okay, and you make them yourselves? We do. Yes, we make them ourselves and we ship them all across the country. Awesome, awesome. Well, tell us, why are you in this business? It's kind of a crowded space, unique space. Why are you in this business? You know, we started the business as just an idea. So I was at the gym one day, we were, I was doing my cardio, and uh, the idea popped up, and I, I ran over to Andre and said, hey, we should make protein donuts and ship them across the country. And what was your reaction? Um, you know, I said, that sounds good. <laughs> protein donuts, protein donuts, that's something new. Yes, it's yes. something that the, the world hasn't seen before, so that's what we wanted to bring to the table. And. Uh, Tell me, I mean, it is a little bit unique. Like you said, they haven't seen me. the world hasn't seen it before. What uh, little TV show helped you along the way? A little TV show, Shark Tank. Shark Tank, and that's why everybody's here today as well. And uh, I mean, what does make you different? I mean, there's a lot of protein foods and supplements and whatnot out there. Um, Marquez, what makes the Doughboy Bar different? Well, number one, we sell donuts. So when, just like you said, you know, when someone thinks of a donut, you don't think of anything healthy at all. So <laughs> our pitch is, uh, our hook is, you know, why have a protein bar or a protein shake when you can have a donut? I love if it. If you put that option out there, people will choose donuts 90% of the time. Yeah. That, well, that's a terrific. I think that says it all. If you, <laughs> say it one more time. Yeah. Why would you have a protein bar when you can have a donut? With that. Andrea will give us a website, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. You can find us at www.dobardonuts.com, at Dobar Donuts on Instagram and social media. That's all from Blinken, Nebraska, and uh, Shark Tank Casting Call. Thanks for joining us. Hi, I'm Paul Madsen of GrowMedia.com. I'm here to introduce you today to Scott Warren of Alexa Holmes. Scott, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here. Hey, Scott, tell us, what business are you in? Yeah, so officially we're in the, uh, the real estate business, so we focus on residential and commercial construction. Uh, we're a little bit unique in that the fact that we're also a franchise, so we, we partner with build, builders and markets and just give them our operational systems so we can grow that way. So it's not just you building one house or ten houses a year, it's you building many houses through many markets. Correct, yeah, through many markets with partnerships. How many markets are you in? We're in 17 different markets right now. Around the country, different cities? Yes. Such as what? Um, so, so some good examples would be Denver, uh, we're in Dallas, we're in Austin, um, LA in Orange County, California, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, so quite all a few over the place. Markets in the US, wow, yeah. and these are franchise locations through Alexa Homes. Correct, yes. That's awesome, that's awesome. Well, Scott, that's an interesting business. Tell us, why are you in this business? Yeah, so really we got into the business, number one, um, I got into it out of, out of tragedy. You know, we were a subcontractor and one of the builders in, in our original local market ended up going bankrupt and I learned a lot of lessons from that and then created this business model that was focused on how to create amazing, innovative client experiences, um, you know, fun and innovative client experiences in the construction market. Well, that's unusual right there. <laughs> uh, well, tell us, I guess, what that leads into the next question. What makes Alexa different yeah, from, exactly. from other contractors, construction firms? Right, yeah, whenever I say that, it's like, well, how do you do that? Yeah, that sounds I, I amazing. Don't understand. How do you do that? So, <laughs> so yeah, the, the three major ways that we do that, the first one is we offer transparency. So we're a custom home builder that offers transparency to the customer, they get to see fully you know they number one they start with our margin it's not worth my time or energy as a builder to really 
do all of this for less than X, right. but then after that, I'm gonna be fully transparent so you guys get That's to see beautiful. where all of our costs go. That's beautiful because if I'm a home builder and I, you come to me over and over and over saying, oh, we got to overrun here, we got to overrun here, I think you're just marking up my, my, my cost and yeah. profiting more and more. But if you've told me on the front end, that, that makes a whole different ball game, doesn't it? Exactly, yep. Wow. And then the, the second level then is that we wanna truly enter into a partnership with them. So we start the process with transparency of cost, but then we partner them by giving them our wholesale economies of scale pricing. So as Alux is growing in multiple markets, we're starting to go direct with national purchasing accounts that we get much bigger discounts. And especially like our, our main focus as Alux is some of the higher end uh, luxury homes or renovations. Mm -hmm. So in that space, people are doing such small jobs normally. You know, a builder's doing five, six houses because they're multi-million dollar homes. And they're always going to a vendor that is charging them a premium. Yeah. Because it's also the most expensive appliances typically, or the most expensive right. tile. But, and not a lot of people are doing that. But so you have systems. Exactly. What we have the ability to do is take those five, multiply them up into you know 500, and then we get Beautiful. the best discount that we can. We pass that on as economies of scale to the customer, though, which is unique. Perfect. Really, you really um, provide a lot of back office support and systems for other home builders. In a, in a, again, leading to the ultimate customer experience. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, just 10 seconds, if you can, about, uh, I guess you've already told us how Alexis is different. Yeah. Alexa Homes is different. Um, any last thoughts on that? Yeah, just our, our one last thought is just that we, we also will build this whole house out in virtual space first. Oh, really? So only 8% of humans have the ability to take a two-dimensional drawing, blow it up in their mind, and walk through it. So it means 92% <laughs> of people, they're building their home, their largest purchase of their life, they're, they're typically doing that on blind faith. Wow. So with our system, we can put it all into virtual reality. They can truly immerse in it before they start the build process and make any changes that they need to that they can see now in virtual space. Scott, how do people learn more about your website and you at, uh, at Alexa Homes? Yeah, absolutely. So anybody can reach out to me on you know Facebook or LinkedIn at just Scott, Scott Warren. And then obviously uh, our website is www.aluxahomes.com. There you have it, the uh, big picture on Alexa Homes uh, with Scott Warren. Uh, Scott, glad to get to know you better. Yeah, Thanks you for coming, too. and see you next time on the Grow Your Biz Show and GrowMedia.com.